we're going to continue to offer joystick controls in North America. We're going to offer them the world over. Um, what's new for 2019 is we're going to offer the steering wheel and lever controls again in North America. Uh, we've always had these in production for other parts of the world. Now we're bringing them back here in the, both of the form of the 140 you'll see in a minute and the 120 here. With the new cab, we are going to offer the choice. So where we can, we have commonized the cab, but there are some differences. So right at the beginning, if you notice this cab is squared off in the front, the cab behind you is the joystick cab, you're going to see the angled doors from the M series retained. Okay. Early in the design concepts, we tried to commonize the two, but there were, ended up being too many compromises. So for example, when you take lever controls and you put them into that cab over there, the base configuration will fit, but when you start adding extra levers for rippers and dozers and snow wings and all the other stuff that some customers need, you can't fit it inside of that cab. Now we can change that cab and, and accommodate that, but then you end up into some compromises on visibility. Mm -hmm. So rather than do that, we decided let's split the design and let's optimize for each set of controls. Okay, so joystick controls are going to get one type of cab, lever controls are going to get this cab here. What hasn't changed are the actual controls themselves. So behind you, the joysticks that are in the joystick cabs are the same, same joysticks, okay? In this machine, the levers and the steering wheel are the same controls that were there previously. A lot, these are 45 years in the making. Lots of refinement and effort went into this. The, not only the location of the controls, but also the spacing between the levers, the effort of the levers, uh, how, how far you throw them, how close they are to the steering wheel. Lots and lots of thought has gone into that. We haven't changed that. And even down to the detail, like the shape of the steering wheel, this is shaped so you can stick your finger in it and spin it around. Okay, these don't have a knob on it to spin around because it'd get in your in the way. So this is it's got a shape to it to stick your finger in it and spin it around. Okay. <laughs> Lots of big and little design choices that were that went into this. What has changed? All new display, touchscreen display, similar to what you see in the dozer and the excavator over here. New seat, similar to what you see in the dozer and the excavator significantly improved heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. One of the things that operators have commented on the motor grader for years, there's lots of glass here, lots of volume. It gets hot in the summer, it gets cold and fogs up in the winter. We need more, we just need more. So that's significant improvement in, in that system here. But probably the biggest difference that both of these two cabs are gonna get is in the back corner here. So for a minute here, I'm gonna close the door. And I want you to look at this back corner. For years, there's been a large post here. The rollover protection post has always been right in the corner of the cab. Okay, And operators for years have commented, as soon as I turn and look over my shoulder, I see this giant post right here on both sides. So what our engineers have done for this new cab is they've taken that called the C post, or this back corner post, and they've moved it over here. So now it's behind the operator where it's really unless you're an owl, really difficult to look right square behind you. They've moved it over here. Now I can see up to the corner of my machine, out where potentially a great checker would be, or I need to maneuver around something or back into a shed. All of that field of view is open now. Um, some commented during the development of this cab that, hey, this is a lot of glass that looks a little vulnerable. So we added an optional brush guard here. Okay, and we put it in line with the glue seam so that from the operator's seat, it doesn't, it kind of blends in. You don't really see it there, okay? Not everybody will need this, but if you're around trees and overhead uh, limbs and things, good option to, to protect your glass here. There's a lot of little changes, a lot of thought that went into this cab. I'll give you a couple of small examples. <clears throat> the last time we updated this particular lever cab was in 1995. Not many people carried cell phones in 1995. This cab has a place right behind the post here to store your cell phone. It also has a USB port and a 12 volt socket to charge your cell phone. Um, one of my favorite features, customers always would comment, it's hard to close this door. There's a latch right here, it's hard to pull. So we added this foot pedal. So now I can reach that from the seat it swings around just about to the right spot that you can grab it and pull it shut. So 
Lots of thought. Big things and small things that went into this particular cab. Over on the M on the joystick cab, a couple of small changes that we made um, for years. Operators have commented that this what we call the B post. You know, it's it's kind of in my line of sight for seeing the the heel or the trailing edge of this blade. So what we've done was we moved this forward about an inch and a half so that behind it you can see out the window to the heel of this blade now. The other thing we've done with this front window, you can see it's completely flush mounted. There's no posts on the side of it. On the M cab, when the windshield wiper goes back and forth, some snow can build up in there. That's completely flush now, so when the windshield wiper swipes back and forth, the snow gets completely expelled off that windshield. So those are a couple of the changes that were unique to the, the joystick cab.